I'm being asked to find the limit of this function right here as x approaches negative infinity. So the trick is to divide the numerator and denominator by this, the square root of x squared. Now the square root of x squared is actually equal to the absolute value of x, which is a piecewise function. This is x if x is greater than or equal to zero, and it's minus x if x is less than zero. In this problem, x is approaching negative infinity. That means that x is less than zero. So then the square root of x squared is actually equal to minus x. This is extremely important in calculus, uh, this, this whole argument we just did here. So again, the technique here is to divide by the square root of x squared, and that's equal to the absolute value of x. Uh, since we're approaching negative infinity, x is less than zero, and so we have this equation here. All right, let's do it. Let's do this problem. So this is the limit as x approaches negative infinity, and we're going to divide everything by the square root of x squared, so the numerator and denominator. So it looks like it's more convenient to use negative x in the numerator because that way we have some cancel cancellation. In the denominator, it's more convenient to use the square root of x squared because then we can combine the square roots. So all we did was we divided everything by this, which is the same as this, except in the numerator, I used negative x. Why? So that things cancel. And in the denominator, we use the square root of x squared. Why? So we can combine things. So this is the limit. As x approaches negative infinity, boom, these cancel. You just get 5 over. In the denominator, we can combine things. So it's 2x squared plus 11 over x squared. So this is equal to the limit. As x approaches negative infinity, of 5 over, and then we have 2x squared over x squared, which is just 2, plus 11 over x squared. All right, now we can take the limit. So now we stop writing the limit notation. This is 5 divided by the square root of 2. And this term here, as x approaches negative infinity, this approaches 0. So we have 2 plus 0. So we end up with 5 over the square root of 2. And I suppose you could rationalize, but that is a perfectly acceptable correct answer. I hope this helps.